John Cena went on Shannon Sharp's podcast. Yeah, I saw this. And created some big headlines. Course, Shannon sure did. Sharp asked him, who's the GOAT of WWE? Now, before we talk about what John Cena said, mm-hmm. what do you think most people's answer would be? WWE GOAT. GOAT. I, I think that's the beauty of it is I think most people would have different opinions like my Mount Rushmore of WWE stars is going to be different than you know Devin's Mount Rushmore of well, WWE see, and, superstars. and mine probably would yeah. too because I missed like 20 years yeah because I, mean, I stopped watching for about 20 years and I don't like there's like and, and people can have good arguments and I'll be like that's a good argument like you'll have a lot of people say the rock just because he transcended the sport and became or the sports entertainment and became this just massive public figure right sure you'll have multiple people say Hulk Hogan because he's the guy that made it popular well, right they, Hulk Hogan was the Babe Ruth of this stuff yeah like when right. I and was a real crossover star like wrestling was just wrestling and then Hulk Hogan became this thing Yep. And then there's WrestleMania, and then he's in a Rocky movie. Yeah. Like, he really crossed over. That's right. That would be, like, he's the Babe Ruth of this thing, yeah, I think. I mean, you'll have people say, you'll have multiple people say Ric Flair. Right. Um, I, like, my Mount Ru- I mean, for me, for me, if you're asking who Do I Do a Mount Rushmore. That's four. You want a Mount Rushmore? I would like a oh, Mount Rushmore. my Mount Rushmore? I want, I want oh. Bennett Doyle's Mount Rushmore of okay, WWE. It changes a lot. Uh, number one, it is not even a debate in my mind. It is the Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just th- See, I missed all that. Dude. I'm a, I was very aware of Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I wasn't like Monday Night Raw on it every Monday Him, night. When I was he, at the saucer. When he won King of the up chicks. when he won King of the Ring and, and and started the Austin 316 thing, and then it gets into everything with the Rock and the McMahon family. Like it's just that's my favorite era of wrestling. So like Stone Cold always gonna be top dog okay. on my list. I okay. love the Texas Rattlesnake. Um I gotta Ooh, this is re- I, it's really tough. My list is really tough. Um, I'll put the Rock on there hesitantly, but I'll put the Rock on there just because of his greatness. Probably greatness, belongs. He's a big just deal. Just because of his greatness. Um, I gotta have HBK on my list. I gotta have HBK on my list just because um, he was one of my favorite wrestlers, and then he just became like a part of the business, and now he's the guy that's like putting the next crop of superstars in WWE. Like he's the guy that's building the foundation. So. HBK is going to be on my list. Um, man, and then that fourth one's tough. Like, a guy that I, I wouldn't, I can't responsibly put him on the Mount Rushmore, but he always gets honorable mention is Jeff Hardy because just like I freaking love Jeff Hardy. Like, he just, the, he had so many amazing moments in WWE. Um, so, but I'll probably say four. I might, dude, honestly, and I know where we're going with this. I might have to put Roman up there. I think he might. I think he may have jumped up in the Mount Rushmore. John Cena called Roman Reigns the goat of Loved WWE. It. Yeah, he said Rock would be second, but John, but Roman Reigns, John Cena said, is the greatest WWE performer of all time. So, in this day and age where our attention, get your ones up, get your ones up. In this day and age where our attention span is just like all over the place, like I mean, dude, you got to think. A lot of these big WWE superstars that are like we're talking about the greatest of all times, the Mount Rushmore, they didn't have the competition for eyeballs like WWE has now, right? Like there is a million different options out there of things for people to watch and consume sure. their time with, and the product is still super popular and. If you want to point at just one thing and one reason, they fill up arenas at least twice a week. And if you want to point at one, if you just say, "What's what's one reason why WWE has had this really really great run?" It's him. And my favorite thing about it is people hated him. Not hated him as he's a villain or no. People thought he was just not a great wrestling personality. Right. Like like people were mad when they pushed him. I can remember him coming out on Monday Night Raw and people would boo him because they were like, we don't want this guy to be the face of the company. And to WWE's credit, they stuck with it. And I mean, yeah, he's as popular as it gets. And he got way better. I'll, I'll give him credit too. He has always been a good wrestler, but... His microphone skills were lacking. I can remember a famous promo. I think it was in Memphis with him and John Cena, and John Cena cooked him. It was embarrassing. And John, he, I remember that too. This was yeah. before I restarted watching wrestling, but I just turned that yeah. on that it night because it was in Memphis, and 
it, if I remember correctly, it was almost like they were they were talking to each other in character, but also there was some like yeah, there truth was some in there behind the scenes Cause business. Because John, cause John stuff. Cena yep. said something along the lines like, "If you could do this, I wouldn't have to be here." Yeah, it was something like that. Like if you could do, if you you should be carrying this thing, and if you could. I wouldn't have to be here. I'm only here because you can't do the job. It got so uncomfortable that there was one point when Roman just goes, just shut up for a minute. <laughs> and that was when you're like, whoa, he's really cooking him right now. And to Roman's credit, like, dude, I think he's great on the mic now. Like, I love listening to him talk when he's in the ring. The acknowledge me thing became a turning point. Yeah, the bloodline thing, obviously, and, and the head of the table, tribal chief, all of that, like, really changed everything for him. But... Yeah, man. I just I think he's the top superstar, and this, and it's not even it's close, not even close right now. And the 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 time away helped. I think so too. Yeah, we missed him. We missed him. Sometimes you got to miss something to properly appreciate it, Bennett. You ever found that to be true in your own life? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. So we had to miss him for a little bit, but now he's back, and uh, he's the biggest star going. He also he's ha- my goat. He also like helped WWE through COVID. Like, I mean, that was, they were right. at a weird point, right? You're yeah. doing shows with no fans. You've got the screens and yeah. everything. And he kept people's attention. Roman Reigns is my goat. I think uh, Corey had the Mount Rushmore that I would probably go with. Okay, which what is, is it? Hulk Hogan, mm-hmm. Roman Reigns, The Rock, and Stone Cold. I can't argue with that. I think that's probably a pretty yeah. safe. I bet you that's the most common. Yeah, I put the reason I put HBK over Hogan is because I just like that era mm. more. Wow. That's that's all. Wow. Yeah. Take it up with John Cena. The Gary Parish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m.